Look, I think a 15% corporate tax rate is terrific. I think we've got to make sure that we deal with pass-throughs and individuals at the same time. The question about whether it's paid for or not is really ultimately a question about whether we want permanent tax policy or not. We can have a short-term tax policy, but it's pretty limited. And if what we're trying to do is influence behavior, that is, bring back manufacturing lines from overseas, have, a, have a, a, an American renaissance, essentially, then the best thing to do is to create a tax policy that's permanent. And permanent means paid for. So that's the new fault line that we'll be developing. But I think it's good news that we're seeing presidential leadership on this issue. But we ought to make sure that we're really having a thorough debate on this and that we're not taking something that's just the easy way necessarily right. and giving up something that's ultimately better. But, but where do you stand on that fault line, which is the pay for issue? Meaning, in well, your mind, does it ha do you want it to be paid for? I want it to be paid for. I'm from the state of Illinois, and the state of Illinois is an example of how not to approach deficits. So we're now $20 trillion in debt in this country. My, my party, over the past several years, has raised this to a point of describing our debt question as a national security threat, and now all of a sudden we're just going to walk away from that. I don't think that's the smartest thing to do. I think the better thing is to say, let's pay for this. We can do it. We've got a blueprint in the House that proposes to do that. And toward that end, let's get to permanent tax policy, not a tax policy that turns the entire tax code into a big tax extender. That blueprint still has that border adjustment tax in it. Are you, are you holding on to that as well? Yeah, I am. I think that there's, there's a lot to be discussed about the border. Uh, the border proposal, and that gets to this whole notion of dealing with ultimately the base erosion problem. You put in the border proposal, and it doesn't matter where somebody places their manufacturing because it's all going to be taxed based on the, the cash flow destination, True, as you know. True, but if you get the rate low enough, that also deals with base yeah. erosion, right? Because you're the mo then we yes. become the most attractive place to invest. Yes, but then you get back to this notion of do you want temporary tax policy or do you want permanent tax policy? We can take temporary tax policy. That's, that's apparently something that's, that's being roundly discussed right now. But then in 10 years, we're going to be having this same discussion rather than recognizing that we're at a national inflection point right now. It has been 30 years, obviously, since this tax code has been dealt with. Let's use the momentum. Let's use the consensus, the fact that nobody is defending the status quo. Let's take advantage of that and let's drive towards a permanent change. But I think a permanent change is really worth fundamentally engaging on rather than saying, you know what, it's too big, it's too hard, let's just cut the taxes and not worry about it. I think that leaves a lot of growth actually on the table. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.